Okay, now when we've got a basics of 3ds max user interface behind us let's move on to making sure that our program is properly set up so first what i want you to do is go to customize menu unit setup and make sure that you've got display unit scale set to metric by default you should probably have generic units but we're going to work on and um, 3d architectural visualizations so we're going to use real world scale and that's why we're going to use centimeters and now select system unit setup and here make sure that one unit in program actually is one centimeter that's really important because when you will be importing files from foreign uh, scenes if you don't have it uh, the unit setup um, corresponding to your uh, system uh, units, you're probably going to have out of scale objects. So uh, make sure that uh, those two are properly set up. Now, uh, moving on, we're going to check if we've got uh, our preferences meeting our needs. So uh, when you go to customize and select preferences, you'll be welcome by that window I opened. But you can also do that by going to File, Preferences. Why we have these two options, I don't know, but probably these guys do. Okay, so going to General, we've got Scene Undo. I've set it level to 100 because we're going to make a lot of the mistakes and we're learning, so it's okay. Usually I set up uh, at least 50 for my personal needs because I uh, actually like to go back at some points. Um, so in this tab, uh, we're not going to change a lot. We're going to make sure that we've got sub materials assigned automatically checked off because we're not going to need it right now. So if you get it on, uh, turn it off. Uh, I'll describe what it does uh, later. Uh, texture coordinates use real world texture coordinates make sure it's really important that you have this option turned off um, by default it's turned on if you selected 3ds max design when you were installing the program so make sure that you've got this turned off because uh, otherwise you'll have j some um, weird um, not weird but different uh, texture coordinates and that will uh, confuse you and make your life harder and, and we would like um, to make sure that you've got the program uh, set up as we do so uh, your learning experience is as uh, perfect as it can be moving on we've got files here and um, we're basically going to change only one thing and that is auto backup make sure that it's enabled and we can create 10 auto backup files which are stored at your user in C user and there you've got documents 3ds max auto backup so you can access those at any time uh, backup interval in minutes so if you uh, set up five like i did and the program will freeze or um, yeah it will freeze for us a few seconds uh, to create auto backup every five minutes I know a lot of people that don't use this option, but it actually saved my life a lot of times and saved me a lot of trouble because at some point, sometimes 3ds Max like to, likes to cor corrupt your files. I don't know why that happens, but it actually uh, happens quite often to people. And to make sure that you don't have it uh, on your side, just please try to uh, set up uh, at least mm, 10 auto backups and uh, make sure that you have it, uh, let's say, each five minutes. When your scene is larger than, uh, let's say, 50, uh, 50, 500 uh, megabytes, you should probably set the interval to a little bit higher uh, 
account because at some point uh, the scene will be saving uh, for let's say 30 seconds so that leaves you with 40 uh, 4 minutes 30 seconds of work and that could be annoying uh, for some people especially with really large files and here you can set up set the auto backup file name it's really helpful if you work on several projects at the same time and you don't want to um, override your auto backups because uh, you know uh, when you're creating project a you don't want to um, have the project b uh, over overriding uh, your files <clears throat> at any point uh, because let's say that your file got corrupted and well you you get the point okay uh, viewports uh, we're not changing anything here interaction mode nothing here make sure that you've got gamma and you lut um, set to enable gamma lut correction uh, gamma should be 2.2 um, it's uh, since 3s max i believe it's uh, 2016 it's on by default but some people uh, sometimes in some companies have older versions of 3s max so make sure that you have got uh, this option uh, turned on <clears throat> as for rendering we're not changing anything and all these um, things um, at the higher uh, level of tabs we're not going to change anything here uh, at least for now so Right now, we've got our 3ds Max set up. We've got basics of our user interface behind us. So I believe we're ready for next lesson. So see you in the class.